Yes, they've been the benchmark all season. The Melbourne Stars and are now moments away from contesting their first ever championship decider. And they will be batting first uh, by choice. And I can't wait for the first ball. It will be bowled by Shabnim Ishmael. <laughs> Final nerves. <laughs> In the air. There it is. Down. Dropped. Oh, no. Tammy Beaumont backward of point. Wow, that's a what miss. What will that do to this game? Oh, Elise Fellani, movement at the crease straight away to Sammy Joe Johnson. <laughs> They've elected to bat. They want to try and bat them out of this game. Oh, that's <laughs> nice shape. Really good shape from Sammy Joe Johnson, the leading wicket taker in the competition. Oh. And, uh, this is brilliant bowling. Brilliant, brilliant bowling. Put a chance. In. That's in the air as well. She won't drop it. The Thunder have their first, and like they were against the Heat, they're up and about. There's the short ball. This is another opportunity down the boundary line. Sammy Joe Johnson just underneath the outstretched hands. Oh, wow. Okay, that's one way to get the innings going. Brings the crowd in play too. A three for 20. Edged again. Oh, damn. Heather Knight in the slips cordon. Oh, coming in off the boundary is Litchfield and she's yorked herself. Well, straight down the throat, is it, of Shabnim Ishmael and she's oh, put it down. Oh, dear, oh dear. Oh, catch up. This one's in the air though. Yeah. And this one's taken. No damage done to the Thunder. The Thunder just to settle in the first 10 as Alana King goes big but big yeah. straight to the field. I'll stay on can Trevor will come back to you <laughs> because Phoebe Litchfield has taken a very sharp catch on the boundary line. One up. Oh. Up and over. Darlington with the leap and couldn't get a fingertip on it. Yeah. That's straight to the field though. Can't keep her out of the game. Rachel Haynes, she's like, this is how you catch. Taking another one. The stars in all sorts. Well, this is up in the air. It'll take some catching running back with it. Oh. And another one goes down. Rachel. I put my finger up, Rachel Haynes. Thought she had it. Well, they probably won't if this is taken. There it is, she says, a little wave to the crowd. Sammy Jo Johnson just keeps picking up wickets in this competition. Rachel Haynes keeps on taking catches. The Thunder keep on picking up wickets. Wants two, Catherine Brunt. Ishmael is quick across the ground. She's got a flat arm to a direct oh. hit. And we may have been going upstairs. We're going to go upstairs anyways. Yeah, comfortably home. And it's not a surprise where Hannah Darlington's bowling, really. She's been doing it the whole... Oh. Like she's been doing it the whole season, and there's another example of, uh, of her bowling full and straight, taking out the off stump of Tess Flintoff. Why not? There we go. It couldn't quite get the leverage, though. Well, the length. The length was perfect. How do you get up and under that? And there's whether or not a dot or a wicket to finish off the innings. Fair enough, too, for the Sydney Thunder as they take a wicket on the last ball. It's been a dominant display by the Sydney side on their home away from home home ground at North Sydney Oval. 20 overs have gone, it's 9 for 86. This game is not over. The Sydney Thunder still need 87 in a grand final with some of the best bowlers in the world. It will be Treneman and Beaumont to do the job for the Sydney Thunder and Nat Siver, arguably the leading all-rounder in the world at this point in time. She has an opportunity to break this game open with a couple of wickets up front. Tammy Beaumont facing. There's intent for you straight away. Tammy Beaumont just walking to the bowler at the bowler first delivery. There's that movement. It's a little deja vu-ish. <laughs> Play and miss. Chipped in 
the air for the first boundary for the Thunder. On the pads again, that's a nicer shot there from Treneman. Well balanced for the second boundary of the over. Oh, straight up goes Catherine Brunt, she likes it. Unfortunately for her though, not given. Oh, oh sounded nice. Is she going to go all the way? She is, Tammy Beaumont. Take that. Yeah, again, a little bit, little bit over-pitched. Thanks for that, Slats. Oh, hit with power from Tammy Beaumont. As the Thunder skipped to none for 21. Oh, but we've got quite a few goals from me. As Kiki as well, she's usually one of the vocal ones, but she's bowling at the moment. You can see that there was a fifth ball last over, and there was a huge shout, not from Alana King, from Fulton. I think Meg Lanning went up, and it was pad first. Other end. A change of attack, a change of ends. Down. It's a very, very nice shot. Wonderful footwork. Just held the hands into the shot, gave it the full face to the boundary. Flint off into the attack, and again, nicely timed by Treneman. She did off the back foot in the last over, and on this occasion, off the front foot. Wonderful hands. In the air, taken. Well, well, well. The Brisbane Heat only two nights ago lost six for 12. Funny things happen in the WBBL. The Stars will be happy with that wicket of Treneman. Oh, she doesn't want to pace there because <laughs> that is nicely struck. It was probably just over pitched from Alana King. There we go. She does try to go for the scoreboard and she's bowled. King continues her magnificent tournament and she keeps the stars in the hunt. Well, it's been magnificent cricket. We've had so many close games. Rachel Haynes lofting long. Oh, that's even nicer, Rachel Haynes. Yes, the one before was a six. But boy, she got in such a powerful position for that four. That will help. Every time they won, they chase, as this is another big one as well by Haynes. <laughs> <laughs> Heather Knight. That's it. Watching Rachel Haynes, and with that beautiful strike, the Thunder race onto the ground. It is their second WBBL title, and what a way to bring it up. They've been magnificent. A lot of people didn't think they'd make the four. They had faith in their team, faith in the semi, and they were almost out of it. And the celebrations will go long into the night.